Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at what cycloalkanes are. Now when you hear alkanes, I know we're dealing with single bonds. Alkenes is double bond and alkynes is triple bond. So when you hear alkanes, we're dealing with something that has only single bonds between the carbons. And cyclo means that it's circular in a way. And so what happens is that these interesting chains of carbons can actually form a complete ring. And the number of carbons in the ring, well, that can depend upon what the chemical reaction is. And we can end up with three carbons or four carbons or five carbons or six carbons. So you get some interesting arrangements and those are called cycloalkanes. Notice they all have single bonds between the carbons. And in each case, every carbon has two hydrogens. So the general formula would be CNH2N. There's always twice as many hydrogens as there's carbons in these. Oh, and I'm missing an E here. Dang, there we go. Um, so there's always twice as many hydrogens as there are carbons in these cyclopro uh, cycloalkanes. And these are what we call the simple forms of them. Of course, we have all kinds of other groups that will attach and form different, different kinds of molecules. And we'll talk about some of the more common molecules in the videos to come. So when we have three of them, three carbons in a, in a circle, essentially in a ring, uh, we have cyclopropane. If there's four of them, we have cyclobutane. If there's five of them, we have cyclopentane. And with six of them, we have cyclohexane. Now, this is not to be confused with the benzene ring, because with a benzene ring, you have alternating single and double bonds. So then you would not have what we call a cycloalkane, because there's double bonds involved. So that's a separate type of thing. But the simple arrangement where the carbons are attached to one another in a ring form, with just single bonds, are called cyclo. Alkanes.